Hello there everyone, Quinnigan T here. Welcome back to another video. So before I start this video, I just want to say that there is a Sims video coming out tomorrow on Thursday, but this is kind of just going to be something different. So if you guys don't know, there has been a show going on this whole entire summer since June called Big Brother, and it's basically a reality show where you trap these 16 house guests into a house and they win half a million dollars if they, if they win. Um, so the finale was tonight, and I'm just going to run through my reaction and review and just overall thoughts of the season. Um, so overall thought, I thought the season was great. Um, not the best one, definitely not. People consider the season a flop, and so do I in a sense, but it was still an interesting season in the way that they ran things. Um, teams twist in the beginning kind of rigged the game a little bit. Road kit, roadkill twist, kind of stupid. Um, but once it got to the real good gameplay, it was good. So, I'm just going to cover the finale because that was the really big part. So, once Paul won part one, I was like, he got this. Nicole won part two. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you should probably just click away now. This is for people that actually know what I'm talking about. Um, I knew that Paul was going to win. I knew. I knew that Paul was going to win. Um, Paul, the easy decision was to take James. If he took James, strategically, he would have no votes against him. The only vote that would probably be against Paul was Natalie voting for James because they were in a showman. So that's an that's an obvious thing. If he vote, if he kept Nicole with him, he knew that there was going to be a fight, which is kind of confusing to me as to why maybe he didn't realize it like some of us watching did do and I know I know Twitter is shooken up right now because of all of this no one was expecting Paul to lose this was Paul's time if Paul had just taken James he would have gotten that $500,000 and it, it's just crazy to me I don't understand this he made the same mistake this is just me ranting he made the same exact mistake that Corey did in season 16 in taking Derek instead of Victoria why would you take Derek I get it it was a kind of a um, friendship alliance purpose but you can't be loyal to that in the final three where half a million dollars is on the line that's just not something that should be possible like i don't know what he was thinking but you know what paul played a great game nicole played a great game and if it had to be any final two, it would be them. And I'm not saying I'm mad Nicole won. I'm just mad in the circumstances. Like, if she had won against James, that's great. But in my perspective, Paul had played a better game. And everyone's bashing on Devon for voting for Nicole because she was kind of the tiebreaker. And I was really surprised. Everyone thought Paul was going to win. I was like, Devon, what are you doing? Like, Paul deserved to win. His speeches were better. His gameplay in general was better. I just don't know what everyone was thinking. I was a Paul fan. I was team friendship. But you don't know. Second thing, Natalie was robbed of America's favorite player. James again. I knew that was gonna happen. Victor, it was predictable. I thought it was gonna come down to like Big Meech and um Natalie, but Natalie was totally robbed. Natalie is the real MVP. And lastly, Big Brother over the top, they announced that either Jose or Jason will be going back depending on their votes, but you gotta subscribe to vote. So I don't, I don't get that. They should let me vote, then I'll subscribe. But besides the fact, Jason should come back. I'm excited I have another season of Big Brother to look forward to in one week. Then again, I was not very happy with how the finale turned out tonight. I did not expect that to happen whatsoever. I think Paul made the same exact mistake as Corey did. A uh, Cody, not Corey, Cody did in BB16. And I think it was really stupid and I feel bad for him because he totally, totally, totally deserved to win that. But you know what? Nicole was my favorite in BB16, so I can't be too upset about it. So I'm happy for Nicole. She won against all odds. She's the first female to get win against a male and big brother, so good for her. First female to win since season 13, so it's like five years, I guess. And, I don't know, just great game all around. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this little short video. It's just a little rant, slash opinion, review, reaction. I was very shocked. I was sitting there, like, screaming, like, what? Oh, my God. How did this happen? I was so shocked. Um, like this video if you were, too. If you're a Big Brother fan, let me know down below. I was kind of thinking of intertwining a little series into my channel about Big Brother. You let me know if you want that. Um, yep, leave a like. I hope I hope you liked it. It's a big help. I'll see you guys all again next time. Go watch Big Brother Over the Top on CBS All Access next week. It's good. Bye.